Hello and welcome. This is an overview example of how to use DBDOS 1.0 on Windows 64. I wanted to give a complete example from beginning to end to show you how easy it is to get your DOS-based, D-based programs up and running. So to kick it off, I wanted to start off with a Explorer window showing my files and folders inside of my Windows box and I'm running on this particular box Windows 64 Home Edition. So let's start off with a couple of things. When I say that you need to move your DBase programs, your programs and your data, what do I mean by that? Well that means that I want to put all of my programs and data onto the new machine. On my particular box that I'm looking at right now, if I look at my C drive, you'll see that I have an EN directory. If I double click on that EN directory and I open this up over on the left hand side, you'll see that the EN directory is my base directory for dbase.exe, but I also have my samples directory where I have additional programs and data for running the sample directory. So I have all of that underneath my EN directory. Once I've actually created the process, the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and install the product. To install the product, what I'm going to want to do is I kick off the setup program and the first thing you're going to see is the UAC pop up. This is basically saying that, hey, you're going to be installing something from DBase LLC called DBDOS onto the hard drive. Say yes, and this will kick off your installer. After that, it's a very easy installer. You basically go in, accept the license agreement, hit next, put in your serial number, hit next again, and then it'll install, and at the end of it, it'll kick off the configuration program. So I'm not going to actually install it since I've already have it installed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here and we'll say yes to that and we'll say finished. Once it's been installed, the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to create a configuration. Now the installer will automatically kick off the DB DOS configuration program for you. So you really don't have to do anything. It'll automatically kick it off. This will also be inside of your DB DOS on your start menu. So right now, if I went in and kicked off the config program, this is what it would look like. The configuration program would come up. There's a couple of things that you can do from this configuration program. Let me just give you a quick, brief overview of what you can do. So the product to configure, you pick the product that you want to configure. Notice when you do that, it changes over here on the command prompt. But also notice your icon here on the left-hand side, and then your example picture over here underneath of it. So if I come into here, and I'm going to be working with DBase 5 for DOS. And so I have clicked DBase 5. If I don't know how to use this program, I can come right up here to the How to Use This Program video, click on it, and it will open up a browser and start displaying a video that's included with the installer on how to use this particular program. The really cool part about this is that DBDOS allows us to create as many shortcuts as we like to all of our programs. So let me show you how easy this is to do. The first thing I'm going to do is create a program to DBase 5 for DOS and I just wanted to kick it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out to my folder and I'm going to click on that folder. When I open this up I'm going to come to C and I'm going to go to my EN directory and I'm going to click on the EN. You'll notice that there's my DBase.exe. When I've got that, I go ahead and hit OK. Now notice it says DBase EXE and underneath my icon here it says DBase.exe. Now I may want to customize that name. Notice when I click the box, the name goes away and whatever I type in this edit box will become the name of the shortcut. So I could say Mike's DBase 5 and that's going to be the shortcut name. I then have options underneath of here that I can go in here and I could set it to full screen mode. I could open a status window. I could create a start menu shortcut so when I hit the start button it would show underneath DBDOS under my programs. And I could automatically exit DBDOS when the application closes. So these are the options that I can put with it. For this particular one I'm not going to select any advanced options. I'm going to go ahead and test my configuration to make sure that it works. Now when you click the test configuration button, it will kick off everything that needs to and it will automatically 
kick off dbase5 as you can see. So this configuration looks exactly the way I want it to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click in it. Notice I have my mouse is working inside of it. If I wanted to get back out, I could do the control F10 and notice that I have my mouse back outside of it again. And if I click back inside of the environment, I have this. I could also hit Alt Enter and that would take me to full screen mode and then hit Alt Enter and it would bring me back to the window mode. So I have a lot of capabilities that I can do, but I'm very happy with the way this looks. So I'm going to go say File and I'm going to say Exit. When you have a C prompt like I do here, you can just type in the word exit and that will bring you back. Now since I only tested that configuration, nothing got created on my hard drive. But I'm happy with what I watched, so I'm going to go ahead and save the configuration. It basically comes up and says you have created a new configuration, which you can see up in the top right hand corner. And if I press OK, it's going to close the configuration manager down. So notice here I've got my Mike's DBase 5. And if I double click on this, it will automatically kick off the application and bring up my DBase 5 application, just like you would expect. Now some of the key features inside of here is that this works just like you would expect it to. So I could come in here and say File Open, come into this program right here. I can extend it out. If I was in full screen mode, it would be all in full screen mode and everything would be working just like it is right here. But for this video, I want to keep everything in the window so you can see everything that I'm doing. And then let's say that I wanted to print this feature out. I wanted to print this program. Now this isn't a very long program, but I just want to show you this. The new DBDOS 1.0 basically looks and watches for a file to be updated and the buffer to be added to. And when that happens, DBDOS basically kicks off a program for printing. So we've solved the printer issue with most virtual machines that, that emulate DOS. So if I come in here and say File, Print, you'll notice that in a few seconds the print dialog comes up. Now notice that this is showing me the actual printout of what's going to be printed. Now a couple of things that we've done just for convenience sake. The first thing is, is in DOS or the standard operating procedure was to add a form feed so you're always at the top of the form. Well as you notice here we've trimmed the leading blank page because a lot of people don't want to waste that piece of paper in a Windows environment that's not how it works. So if I take off this you'll notice that I now have a blank page in my print preview and there's my pro there's the actual printout. If I turn trim leading blank page That'll take that form feed away and notice that the preview shows exactly what's going to be printed. I can also go in and set the font. If I don't like the way this looks inside of the product, I can also go in and set the font. I can come into here and pick one of the fonts that I have on my product and I can change it to whatever. Now remember, we were using fixed casing. This is a true type font, so it's going to look a little bit different than what it did when it was using the courier. Type. So if I come up here and say Courier New, it will go ahead and if I say OK, you'll notice the font comes back because I've basically put it back to where it recognizes the tab standard spacing. When I'm done with that, all I have to do is click the print. If I don't want to print it and I just want to get rid of it, I can go ahead and click on the Cancel button and it'll go ahead and get rid of that. So it's very easy to print from your process. So I've got this up and running. I don't want to do anything else with it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out. And so we'll just go ahead and hit exit. And then I'm going to exit out of here. The next thing I might want to do is I might want to create a different configuration that's going to take me to the command prompt. So some people may want to do some advanced functionality like set their path and do some additional things. So if they come out to dbdos and open this up and open up the config program, the config program will allow them to create a command line prompt. Now notice when I click on the configuration loads the command prompt, notice that the icon changes and notice that the representation also changes showing you a C colon backslash greater than sign. So what I want to do is I want to go out there to that same directory and I'm going to pick dbase because I want to be in that directory and I'm going to go ahead and hit open. From this standpoint everything looks exactly the way I want it and I'm going to go ahead and click save configuration. Again, notice up here in the top left hand corner, there's a dbase5, but it shows with a different icon. So this is running the executable program, and this is going to take me to the command prompt, so it shows a c colon backslash dbdos. 
If I double click on that, you'll notice that this kicks off the exact same way as it did before, but it puts me right here at the C prompt. From here, I could do a DIR, I could do a DIR slash W, and I could run something like DB info. So I could say DB info, and it would automatically kick this off, and I could see what was going on with it. I could escape out of there. I could do DIR asterisk period exe, see exactly all the things that I have inside of there, and say, you know what? I want to go ahead and do a DB setup. So I come into here and do a DB setup, and notice it's going to go out, and I could modify my config DB file. I could do all kinds of things inside of here, just like you would do in DOS. And if I want to, because I'm at the, the C prompt, I could also type in my executable like DBase and go ahead and hit enter. And this is going to bring up the DBase program just as you would expect. Now there's also another shortcut key that you could use. You could also use the control F9 if you're sure you're not going to corrupt anything to close down the window. So if I hold down the control and hit the F9 key, it'll automatically get rid of that window. Let's say that I want to actually call another program though. And that may be the case. So I come into here and I say file, go into all programs, go into my dbdos and click the dbdos config. And this time what I want to do is I want to load another application with dbase5. And I'm going to go ahead and click on my folder. This time I'm going to go into samples. And notice that I have two executables. I have myvendor.exe and I have area code. I'm going to go ahead and click the myvendor.exe. When I click the open button, we'll see that, and notice it says my vendor exe. That's a good enough name for me, and I'm okay with that. So what I want to do is I also want to create, let's go ahead and create a new start menu with that, and I'm going to go ahead and save the configuration. Notice in the top left-hand corner, I have my vendor right here, and so when I hit OK, it's done. And you probably won't be able to see this, but if I hit all programs, dbdos, and also my programs, you'll see my vendor right here as another shortcut that I may be able to use. So I could click it from here, or I could use my vendor program shortcut up here. So if I double click on this, this is going to go out there and automatically execute on the my vendor program. So it, boom, it comes up and I'm ready to go. Notice that my mouse is outside of it, but if I click on it, my mouse is back in, and then I can say next record, next record, next record. And when I'm done with it, I could output these records, I could count the records, I could do index the database, all that kind of stuff. I can say quit, and I'm out of the program. So as you can see, after moving my programs and data over to my new hardware, installing the product, and running the configuration, it only takes about five minutes to get up and running with DBDOS. It supports all the normal Windows operating systems from XP and beyond, either 32-bit mode or 64-bit mode. And it supports most Windows printers hooked to your PC. And it also allows you to connect if you have a network printer. You can also print to that as well. I hope this has been informative, showing you all the steps needed to get everything up and running with DBDOS. It's a great program to use with your DOS-based, DBase programs. And it gives you a way forward without, without having to worry about hunting for hardware, having to build some hardware to keep DOS running. This gives you a complete solution out of the box in probably less than five minutes. I thank you for listening. I hope you have an awesome day. And thanks a lot. Bye-bye.